India. We believe in people and constitutional ways. Opposition when necessary, cooperation when possible. This day, this signifies of what all I have received from my country. I'll tell you, I strongly believe that we humans are supported by nature unconditionally. And whatever nature couldn't do, the country did. Nature made trees, but country made papers out of it. Nature made the way, but country made roads on it. Na whatever nature couldn't do, the country, the desh, they did for us. Uh, for me, uh, 15th August is uh, also the rest of the 364 days. Uh, if we think about independence, if we think about freedom, if we think about nation building. So I think that uh, though this is symbolic, for me, every day is an independence day for India and we have to constantly reinvent and uh, remember that uh, what 1947, 15th August actually signified. Hundreds of people were killed and thousands critically injured. Tagore, in his letter to the Viceroy, wrote, <coughs> Unaligned movement or NAM. We will not be aligning with any of the superpowers. The 75th Independence Day is something even more sad. This is a day when we have to remember our freedom fighters who helped us to win. But at the same time, I'd say that we should not dwell in the past. We have to worry about the future. We have to plan for the future. We have to live in the present and learn from the past. So Independence Day and the Independence Movement and all that is something from which we should learn. But we should not continue to dwell in that. Now we have to work to take the country forward. Have the right to vote. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru became the first Prime Minister of India. One of the political achievements of Nehruji was the establishment of the Non-Aligned Movement or NAM. We will not be aligning with any of the superpowers. And I think the most important thing that we are going to do today is to celebrate 75 years of our independence. And I want our children to know for the rest of their lives that they have to be independent thinkers. They should be able to take independent decisions. They should be creative and they should try and become a little more knowledgeable. And all of us are there to support them and to help them with everything that they want. I hope we teachers get enough strength to be able to help our children and nurture them so that these people can celebrate the 100th year of independence with a little more zest and um, a little more, uh, you know, with, with strong ideas. Sukhadam so